Good morning, how are we doing? Happy Sunday, everyone. I'm just uh, making a few minor changes there. And by minor, I mean upgrading roads, smashing people's houses. Growth problems <coughs> is what it is. Growth problems. Whoops. What did I just put down? Uh, JT Gaming, thank you for 22 months. Ben GT, thank you for 51 months. Yeah, I'm moving the house a few meters back with the fall left. Sounds about right. Just trying to, I'm just evaluating the cities and uh, making sure that they've got... Like, for instance, uh, Gillingham here. I just had to Come move you ask, well, some of the station drop-offs. Good morning, Mr. Squirrel. Good morning, D-Storm. How are you doing, sir? Ain't bothered. Welcome back for two months. <clears throat> no, Captain Monty. It's, it's nothing to do with city building. Well, cities grow organically depending on how you treat them. But it's a logistics game. It's not a city design game. You don't design the city. The city grows on its own. You can add roads to steer it, but you don't, you don't get involved in city growth. You use it as an endpoint to sell things, and you move passengers to and from cities. It's a, it's a different game. I was just evaluating where our bus stops were and um, putting some more bus stops down effectively. Got some there now, some there. And I've just built a road through there. So that's a bit quicker. Probably get rid of that stop, maybe. So if we look at the bus route now, Gillingham buses. A blue one goes to them. To and from the airport. That goes to and from the train station. That green one. So is that green one there? Yeah, so I think what we'll make the green one do is come out of Gillingham. Go to here now. Then go to number four. Which is now number three. And then after that, maybe come back to here and here. And then go back. So it can it can take care of that loop. And then the yellow one will have go over here after number four. You can come there. Drop out Kingsway. Do we need to go to number one? No, let's get number one up. Let's go that way. I should help people get around a bit better. <clears throat> yeah, so I've been looking at where, where the resource drop-offs are because everything get like, as the city grows, your original drop-off location is, is no longer correct. So, for example, in Gillingham, we're dropping off tools and fuel, right? So if we look at say tools it drops off in north road which is here which was fine when the city was only like here but if we flick it to bust it and drop and, and hover you can see that everything to the right is now not getting tools which is not good so we kind of need to move the bus the the truck stop to about here to pick up more so i'm thinking we'll go there instead and then change the tool drop off to go there and get rid of North Road and delete that. Um, otherwise, this city's not going to grow. <laughs> well, when the city gets too big, we need multiple. In this case, we don't. But, um, yeah, you can see the fuel drop-off is completely wrong. There's the fuel drop-off. And that is missing out because now half of it is tools, so it needs to go over here somewhere. Probably there. To be way more effective. Somebody's got a bus stop there annoyingly. <laughs> That's residence. It's probably going to go in this direction. Looks like a good one. Yeah, 
Yeah, because <clears throat> I'm looking at Gillingham and thinking it's getting loads of stuff, but it's not really growing. Like, for example, do you remember um, yesterday, I think we, we started on Cricklade? Look at the size of it. It's 2,300. It's bigger than some of the cities that we had for ages. And I'm thinking, why is that? Well, obviously, Lytham only, only gets one lot of resources, so it doesn't get any food. Fine. But Gillingham's getting both. And I think it's down to your drop-offs being wrong. Well, it can be um, passengers, but look at the passengers. We're moving loads of people. So that's got to be a supply problem, I think. It just can't grow. You know, it might be adding it might be adding another building for tools, and then it can't add another one because it's out of out of zone for anything. So I believe that's what it is. We'll see. We'll see if Crickley gets any bigger. Uh, sorry, Gillingham. We'll see if it gets any bigger. Welcome, guys. Good morning. Rudgley's still probably be fine because it's not really grown that much yet. It's only getting some tools. By the, uh, the port. Let's have a look at Altringham. It's getting both. It's quite a nice size. But the drop off still fine. Where's the fuel? Gillingham fuel. That's not right. Altering and fuel. London Road. So there's the drop right now. Which is completely bonkers wrong. Look. At the very least, it needs to be down here somewhere. Yep, it's not just wrong, it's bonkers wrong. <laughs> uh, goods, altering them goods. And we've got lots of waypoints going on here. Now that's to get them in there, isn't it? Right, okay. Uh, so Stanley Road is the current drop-off, which is here. That's not too bad, but it would be better if it was over here. Or even possibly there. I think that would better serve it. It's quite spread out. There's stuff down here and stuff up there, and we can't really span that with one drop. Hmm. Tricky one. This is a candidate for two drops, I think. Maybe like one there. And one... Here. Oh, this is going to be a pain to split, though. I might have to just alternate it, otherwise we're going to have to start faffing around with this station. And I don't want to do that. Although we have got... A spare platform we could use. But it's going to get backed up behind the purple line. Meh. Not ideal, is it? Um, okay. Not sure what just happened there. <laughs> uh, SMD Junior, thank you, 27 months. Uh, keep up the great stream, so you may have reignited my addiction to this game. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we do this one as a double drop. I don't know. It's a world pain, that one. Uh, 
I don't know if going there and back, there and back actually works very well. We'll, drop, we'll try that. We'll try the double drop. Not a fan of it, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. Meanwhile, or the bus situation looks okay-ish. Not fantastic. What we could do with some road upgrades. There's a lot of buses there. That'll do for now. This is why you don't buy all the buses at once. Well, they do spread themselves out, but the problem with not buying all the buses at once is just the sheer having to remember, having to sit there and wait and then just keep buying buses or remembering to come back later, which is, you know, not going to happen. How's little Didcot doing? How are you doing, mate? Getting on okay with your goods? Not really growing. Then it has rubbish connections. I mean, you're getting a lot of good stuff. Not many vehicles to sort it out for you. Let's solve that problem. So I think we've got goods coming in with a future passenger service. If we can... If we think there's enough demand... Didcot is so isolated. Look at it. Nobody even leaves the town. Just nobody is leaving the town. Nobody wants to go anywhere. We like it down here in the corner of the world. We don't want some strangers in these parts. <laughs> wow. It's the perfect town, yeah. Just right in the corner, edge of the world, look. Yeah, you don't want to go too far south. You'll fall off the edge of the world. Stay this side of the truck station, lad. <laughs> the local town for local people, yeah. We could link it, passenger services. But the problem is, I don't think... I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know if anybody wants to go, though. That's the problem. We have to build it to find out. I think I did plan on the passenger service here, didn't I? Um, let's do that. They've already got a... Maybe we should. There's a spare packs line here. We could we could utilize that. Bring it through here. Shenanigans through there. All the way down to here. And then drop it into one of these tracks. That one maybe? Doesn't really matter which one. Plan on using the J slabs. What's the purpose of them? Would be my uh, my question. Me 
360. Don't nice think we have. Village friends with the village, but not the outside world. Yeah, we're gonna link him up. We're gonna bring him. We're gonna bring him into the 22nd century. Bless you, Monk. Uh, 2K. Thank you for subbing. Welcome. Yeah, it looks like the J slabs are if you've got a train that goes 360. But yeah, I think it's just mostly cosmetic, isn't it? If we do a TGV, which I hope we'll do, then we'll uh, we'll do it then. How's that sound? Wow. So much for that parallel track. That barrel track thing's a bit weird, that mod. Doesn't seem to always do it. Oh, it did do it. What? What? <laughs> it must have snuck it in, though. I tell you what, I'd hate to be a car on this road. Not that that road is actually needed in any way. that gone <laughs> nothing like a good wee in the Sunday morning yeah right so we'll have uh oh I had that turned on dang it now I've got three tracks I swear this mod gives you tracks when you don't want it and just ignores you when you do want it. Okay, so if we take that outer track into the... Yeah, I'm going to do a high speed line today, I've decided. Put that on, yes. Please replace. Replace existing. Yes, click. Replace existing. <laughs> it's come back game. Remove. Why won't you remove? No! Seriously. I'm clicking on that and nothing's happening. Replace existing. Doing nothing. 
What? How long till he realizes the junction is broken? I don't know. Can't believe that. Oh, love of God. That junction only does 80k. What, here? Here? It doesn't matter. It's about to stop. 80k doesn't matter. It's literally stopping though. What difference does it make? Somebody said they had a broken junction though. But he's not going to tell anybody where it is. Alright, signal. Knows it doesn't matter. There we go. Right, did cut to Altrincham. Let's try and define the line. If it's broken, it won't work. Looks fine to me. Right, where's the nearest there is? Depot. Can we drop a train from there over there? We could, but I can't be bothered. So we'll do it this way. Right, let's just chuck a simple commuter train on that. It's going to lose money probably. I don't think this is going to... It's going to take a while to get this line established. See, that TGV only does 300. What's the point in having 360 speed track? Let's chuck a Mirage on there maybe. We can just throw that on there for now. 125. 20 people. See if there's any interest in going down to the, the corner of the world. Uh, Mikey. Mikey NZ, thank you for 15 months. 15 months from New Zealand. Thank you. Thank you from uh, from Down Under. Uh, you want to explain the creating train lines in more depth than YouTube, LP, because people... Because you make it look easy. Yeah, I... It's a balancing act, D-Storm, between boring people who already know it and explain it to people who don't. But, yeah. I will try. The signaling is the worst part. <clears throat> Trying to explain the signal is the hardest bit. It's easier to explain it with Factorio just because it shows the signal blocks, whereas in this game it doesn't. But then Factorio has repeaters, which it doesn't have in this game, that make it more difficult to explain. <laughs> yeah, I could go for the bonkers broken TM. Just notice this fish there. 
Meat processing though makes food. Makes slabs of meat, but there's nowhere to take it. Hmm. Oh well. Um Yeah, let's see if anybody queues up at some point. Quickly, it's good. Alcan jumps good. Roach is good. Don't let them. Nuts foot doesn't get any goods yet. Where's the con mat drop off? I wonder. So the con mat drop off is currently the. Which is okay, but not ideal. If it was down the road a bit now, it probably would be more effective. Also, I think they seriously need some... Road works. Construction not possible. Let's see about that. Construction is possible for a man with a big wallet. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of traffic here. Don't really have a bus service down here now. Which is not ideal. Uh, what point do you switch to trams? It's up to you. Like, trams offer low emissions. Uh, you know, they're just an aesthetic choice in a way. Well, if I use six lane roads, um, it really will cause a lot of destruction. So, you could do it. But four lanes tend to work okay for what we need because our, it gives us bus lanes. Like, I'm not really interested in moving personal transport around. I'm just interested in allowing my public transport to get through. And six-lane roads doesn't give you more bus lanes. It just gives you more private roads. But it costs you money and destroys a lot of the population. Yikes. Look at that. A lot of traffic coming in. A lot of traffic coming that way that really should be getting on the train. You know, you know what I'm saying? It really should be getting on a train right now. I think the scenic tour of the grain factory might be needed. That historical landmark. That everybody should drive around at least once in a life. I'm 
<laughs> Gee, I wonder if I'll get on the train now. <laughs> With them St. Anne's, that's this way, isn't it? This thing needs more capacity on the line. Four hundred people want to go to live them. <clears throat> That's a lot. What have they got at the moment? They got the BR one eight five with three cars. I mean, if I remember, that's that's a pretty good setup. Maybe it's just not enough of them. It's 89 second frequency. Don't know, D-Storm. That's that one, isn't it? 200k wagon. That is the fastest wagon available. If we dropped another one on the back of each one. Just increase the capacity a little bit. And then maybe add a couple more trains that should take care of the problem how much speed did they get to i think it depends on the run they're doing but like this run coming back here he's capping out a 160 that's interesting okay that's interesting whoops it's a br185 160 Yeah, you see, you'd have to go to the 103 to get 200Ks out of it. But then you completely double, you completely double your running costs. Just on the locomotive. On a, on a line that's just about breaking even, it's not worth it. We'd lose a lot of money. It's not worth putting 200Ks on there. Count six and after one go. So one, two, three, four.
All right. Darius, how are you doing? Uh, what's going to say? So after four, and come along here. No Windsor Road. Go there. And there. Have a look at the actual vehicles on the line. That should help. What about the west part of the city? Yeah. There's not much going on over there, is there? Probably it's the buses that have to sort of dive down this way. I did not want that, though. Why couldn't it connect that? <laughs> Comes out of this station turn right and go down here. What's wrong with that? Oh, now it's working. The heck? <laughs> there we go. That's come down from 400. But yeah, <laughs> that's the price. More trains, more cars, more expense. Still, there's not that many people taking this journey because they're all stuck. I got confused. So in terms of like a high speed train, the two options are we have a high speed train or we just put an aircraft in there. But I'm thinking Cricklade's pretty big now, 2,400. 
And it's down the south of the map. We haven't really got anything down in the corner here. That's as big as Cricklade. Altringham's close, but it's not as far south. So in terms of where we want to go to, this is probably the best option. Go back and look at the junction in Altringham. Which junction? John O'Meadows, what junction? I don't know what you mean by the junction. The new crossing for the new train line. Just outside the station. What, somewhere here? Oh, you mean this? Oh. What the? <laughs> Seriously? What the heck? I have never seen that in this game. What? <laughs> Hang on, let me put, let me fix that. That's bizarre. How does that... I've never seen that. Wait, what? Okay. That's a bit bonkers. I... I don't know. I think I put it in and the game went, uh, you know, like it sometimes does that. Anyway, it seems to be fine now. Uh, so, quick laid, right? Option one is we put an airport down here and we could probably serve both cities with one airport. Could probably have a direct transfer or something like that. You could even put it on this train line. And, and have a stopping service here. That's option one. Have an airport. Option two is we have a TGV type train. And so the question is, where do we go to? In terms of cities, we want something all the way up here. We want as far away as we can get, really, to try and get maximum speed. Now, Cranbrook is 2,000. Mildenhall is nearly 2,000. Mildenhall already has an airport. But it's a goods airport. It's not to say it couldn't be PAX. So either we put a PAX plane down to Cricklade, which would probably work, or we try and TGV it, or we go for Cranbrook, which also has an airport. So we could expand that with another runway and fly it down, or we can try and put a high-speed train in. Ellesmere is not big enough, and he's on the wrong side of the water, really. I'd kind of like to have a high-speed train just because we don't have one. I don't know if we'll make money from it, but I kind of feel like we need to try. I think an airport would make more sense from the point of view of the layout of the land. Condition of road vehicle 150 is very poor. Meep, meep. Why is there a weird road between Duvalton and Cranbrook? Chat, do you want to take that one? Alessia wants to know why there's a weird road between Doubleton and Cranbrook. Yeah. 
It's the boot. <laughs> the game did it. I love it. <clears throat> if we did it on a train, it's not going to be easy. We'd have to expand this station here, I think. And they're already building on this side of the... Uh, <laughs> What a nut, I like it. <laughs> They're already building on this side, so we'd have to trash some stuff here. And then to get a train down south, well, I think Cricklay would have to follow this line initially. Could follow the line through Lytham. And then it needs to get over there. So I think before the water gets too wide, probably just after Lytham, we'd have to drop down into a tunnel go under the water and then maybe pop up somewhere just after the boot or maybe here and then turn into Cranbrook it's not a huge run and a lot of it would be tunneled so it's not really I don't know I'd like to go to Ellesmere but it's not really big enough for a TGV. And getting through there is quite tricky. But you can go Ellesmere all the way down here. To Cricklade. But we've already done that with logs. Yeah, but if we do it all underground, what's the point? If we, if we ride on it, it's going to be really boring. If you have separate stations, you're going to have to add more infrastructure. That's the downside. Also, this is a bit of a mess to get through with more pack, PAX lines. That would certainly be interesting. I think an airport probably makes more sense, unfortunately. Well, I mean, Altringer might be a better bet. But its pack station is a bit of a problem. Because it, it just turns off quickly. You'd have to immediately drop down and go underneath this lot, I think. Then you could come back up, straight line it, bridge over there turn into Cranbrook. That's probably a better bet, but it's only it's only that long. It's not... I don't know if it gets a speed. I don't think it would. Darth Cookie, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Yeah, they all go to Ontario DMC. That's the problem. Milden Hall is 1800. Cranbrook's 1900. Go straight left of Nutsford. Maybe climb up to this hill and then just bridge straight over from hill to hill. Just make a monster bridge. <laughs> that could be quite cool. If you get to like this elevation, you could go to that elevation there and just create like a monster bridge that goes over the top of everything. And then after that, you can come this way. And then sweep down and somehow get into Milton Hall there. Beautiful. That'd be an amazing train ride. We'd probably lose loads of money, but I think we should do it for the giggles. First thing we need to do is modernize this platform. I wish you could just refresh the whole thing. It looks so old. Too 
can't just slap platforms on the top. We have to delete them. It's like surgery there. Okay, put that in there. Uh, let me want. V1 or V2? V1? Rotate. Let's do that. Now, I'd love to be able to update this. Chances of being able to delete this and put it back. There you go. It's it's been modernized. It's like what happens at Waterloo Station. Just came along and threw hundreds of millions at it. Well, there you go. <laughs> right, destination. Alteringham. This is where it's going to get fun. And one of the trains got confused for no reason at all. never quite understood why it derps out like we're not even doing anything to that line or that track and then that train just goes what While you're standing waiting for your high-speed train, you can look at a lot of boxes. 